Welcome back to the Tired Grim Hanger. This is Mike. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope everyone is doing well. Today, I want to talk to you about something a little bit different than what I usually do on Fridays, and there's not going to be as many extra pictures thrown into this mix here, but I do want to talk more about the future of Fantasy Toys KOs. I did get this orange guy in, so I will talk about him, and there's some news that needs to be shared. It's official, unofficial, official news about the KO of this guy. So we're going to get into talking all about all of this this Friday, the future of KOs, coming up. Okay, so first off, let's talk about this Fans Toys Lupus. Fans Toys recently reissued their Lupus, probably because there was word that it was going to get knocked off, it was going to get made by someone else. Now, the story behind that, I don't know 100% if it's true or accurate or not, but I've been hearing that they have the rights to those designs because they weren't properly compensated, but I mean, that goes back seven years, right? Now, I thought the same company that was making this was going to make this one here, but uh, I don't know. We don't really know, but we know that this is MH Toys, as you can see on the box. Well, it's actually hard to see on the box, but right here, MH Toys is MH01 and all of that. And so I really thought this would be an MH, but this is actually a DT01, so I don't know exactly what that's supposed to mean, but with that, I'm guessing it might be a third company in the mix. But the word on the street is that the KO of this is not going to come out. And so I had mine on pre-order. And so I messaged TF Direct and I asked them directly if this is actually going to come. And they emailed me back. They're very honest, very upfront. I have a very good working relationship with TF Direct because I did do reviews for them back in the day. I switched to Show Z. I kind of like to stick with just one. I know a lot of reviewers that do stuff like that, bounce around like five different ones, but I like to stick with Show Z. And I'll have, uh, if you go there, reviewer support TH in the reviewer code the reviewer here and get a little bit of kickbacks but with this guy here uh they told me at tf direct that they did not get a confirmation from the factory or supplier that they were going to get it so they have not received a confirmation yet do you want to cancel so i went and canceled mine i do have the official i would get a ko if it comes in stock if it ever gets made i don't think they'd sell out instantly but that's why i pre-ordered so i didn't miss out so anyway uh, it's one of those things that I'm thinking, now we got some other problems. So my other problem would be that if somebody else that was waiting on the KO and passed on the official, because this is still pushing $200 figure, right? Uh, as an official, as a reissue, it's not like it's coming out at 100 bucks. Or I think it originally came out at like 80 but it's not coming out at that price point anymore. So with that, I would suggest to get one before the price goes back up to 300 uh, to try to get an official because I personally think we're not going to see the KO of this anymore. Now, there's a whole lot of reasons why I actually don't know why the other one's getting not produced, not getting produced. But let's look at this orange guy real quick and then we'll come back to all this. All right, so here's the orange version of Cyclonus and I think he looks really good. I mean, visually interesting and it's something that's different. Now, Will fans always ever get into this? And people say it's shattered glass. I don't know enough about shattered glass colorations, if it truly is or not. And I would think that we would have seen one by Hasbro by now if it really was, but I don't really care. It's orange Cyclonus. I think Cyclonus, the original mold was really good. And this one is good too. Still has some styrofoam bits on it here and there. And it's funny because uh, in my 17K sub special, I pulled this out of the box, put it on the table, and I had little bits of this all over the place, all over me, all over the table. It was just hard to get rid of these little bits of styrofoam, but I will say the positives on this, it looks fantastic. If you can see the speckle in there, it's not just flat orange. There's a speckle to the orange, and this is where it gets into, they, they're not just copying what Fans Toys did. They're doing their own thing with different colors. Now, this leads me to believe that this company is, or a group of people, or whatever you want to call it, is really just doing this one mold right now. Now, there's another company that's done other molds and uh, the Soundwave and the, what was the Acoustic Wave and the Thomas. And that is a different company that did that mold. And they go by RP. So the like Robot Paradise knockoff there. But this is a cool looking one right here. And, but I, I'm just wondering, are they gonna do more colorations of this? Was this successful enough for them to do another offshoot? And of course they wanna get their money out of the mold. Now I'm starting to feel like their mold's already starting to break down because 
uh, bringing in the original. Now, the original was not as tightly tolerated as the fans' toys. So that was already an issue with them. And I, I said as much as I like it, the paint wasn't as good as fans' toys. The paint wasn't as good as fans' toys. And the tolerance wasn't as good as fans' toys originally on this one. But I'm already starting to feel like this one, even though it's a little looser, looser and floppier than the fans' toys one, which isn't really a big deal once it's on the shelf... He's been standing on my shelf just fine since I got him and put him on the shelf. Haven't really done much with him. But, all right, come on. Now you're making me look bad. But this guy is even looser and floppier. I mean, I'm starting to feel, or maybe they're the same equal loosey floppy, and I haven't messed with this one that, that much, but this one just feels looser all around and floppier than, than I, what I was expecting. Now, is it horrible? No. I mean, I can definitely live with it, but it's not anywhere near what fans toys does with their tolerances their tightness and all of that so quality difference between a fan toys and this one well you, you got to look at it this half the price and we'll never get this orange and so with that i don't see fans toys doing this orange i don't see it ever being a thing and once these sell out i don't see them doing another run of orange i think maybe they'll have another color they do or something else that they do for whatever reason maybe I don't know. I have no idea what they would do next. I don't even want to guess on that. But I don't see fans toys making an orange. I don't see them doing another run of orange. So if you want it, you want to track it down and get it now before the price goes stupid through the roof. But I don't know. We never know with KOs. It could sit at being worth 80 to 100 bucks forever, or it could be really hard to find down the road. So I pick mine up now while they're 80 bucks because it's kind of like a no brainer. But Show so Z doesn't carry it. I know that, oh, my Primus, uh, there might be a couple left at uh, TF Direct still. But. Uh, there's not a lot of places to get it, but uh, the ones on eBay people are already want almost double this price So yeah, once it sells out prices will creep up So there's a couple more strange things about this orange version that they have and it's got the same box as the Original one and I, I think they all have the same box. I don't think they even changed the box So they started out with the quietest T and then they went to uh, the standard quietest and they all I think they all have the same box this one has obviously not an orange box. So uh, that's a cost cutting measure. There's no reason to spend more money on that so we can still deliver it at 80 bucks. I can live with that, but it could get a little bit tricky trying to find one on ABS, especially if somebody says, hey, it's sealed and it's orange. Like, how do you really know? I don't know. I don't see like a sticker on it. I don't know how they know. I'm probably with the shipper box or something. So the shipper box would show on it something, I guess. But anyhow, that's probably how they know. Anyway, that's one weird thing. Let's look at the accessories. Looking at these accessories, I'm noticing his face had fallen off in the box. And then as I was getting the accessories out, I noticed his eyes fell out. So his eyes were not supposed to be hollow like they've been in most of the video. So we'll plug that in. I am filming a lot of this out of order. Uh, this is something like a little different than what I normally do. But So the rest of it, you're going to see him with hollow eyes. And this is how he's supposed to look with his painted eyes in there. So... That's something that, uh, yeah, it looks better. It looks a lot better like that. But let's get into the rest of these accessories. As you're gonna see, they are orange and yellowish orange. So we do have his Target Master right here, which about the same as we see with other Target Masters in the past, but he does look pretty cool. And uh, it's just a Target Master. They don't do too much other than turn into a gun poorly turn into a gun. Now we do have these side hip holsters too. And now one of the things is if you get this, you could mix and match if you wanted to, for whatever reason, you wanted to mix and match and have an orange holster on a bluish purplish version. That's something that you could do also. And then we have all of this. And, and again, this isn't a review. Eyes just keep falling out of all these. So eyes fell out of this one too. So that is a constant thing i don't remember that with the other ko any of the eyes falling out and i don't remember it with the official but again i'm starting to think that they didn't make that many did they and then the mold might actually be starting to break down a little bit i don't know the tolerances are just strange now this whole head here is uh it's that one horn broken horn look head that's going on and so that's a thing or you could swap it out and you can have this on there and an unbroken horn head if that's something that you want and then we've got the swords and they look nice and that orange this is another thing if you wanted to put this sword in in the other one's hand you could 
Also kind of always am interested in stuff like this. Like how do they decide what color to put where? Like on the original sword, this is black, silver, purple. But then they went with like a teal and an orange and an orange and silver. Uh, it's just a different color setup, but just something different. I, I don't think it's really that big of a deal any way, shape or form. And then these other accessories right here, which and we have just purple versus orange on this gun and on this other gun over here. Uh, I don't really want to take them out of their hands, but there's a little bit of paint accent that's on the original that's not on the orange one. So the orangish yellowish gun doesn't have the paint accents that are right here. So there's some little subtle differences in the amount of paint that they use on these. But the accessories, I always think it's interesting to see what they're gonna do with accessories, how they decide what colors they use and how they decide what they're gonna do differently than they did with the original because this is, of course, a fun, interesting repaint. And I don't feel like we're giving the Target Master quite enough love here. So uh, just strange, different colorations that they used for the Target Master versus the original, the first one, but yeah, that's kind of fun. And uh, add another Target Master to your Masterpiece collection, although it's the same thing, just recolored. I wanna spend a little bit of time talking about what else fans toys would do. Now we just saw a toy recolor of their Thomas and uh, we saw it in Japanese and US versions. We have seen in the past G2 Dinobots and we've seen some recolors from fans toys. We've seen a toy color of Galvatron and some other stuff going on. But we haven't seen a whole lot of that uh, going forward. And yeah, it's cool to get the old mold back out. And they usually piggyback that on a production run, I think. They pick it on a, on a reissue production run. So would we see any sort of recolors in the future going forward? I don't think this guy is one that they would want to do a recolor of. And I don't see them putting another reissue of Quietus, not Quietus, but Lupus back out again. So a lot of things for the future of the KO is I would like to see like a G2 Grimlock, but do they have the rights to use the Grimlock? I would like to see stuff like a different cool variation colors of fans toys figures, but I don't know if they'll do it. And I'm wondering if they're even gonna do any more. So if this one's truly canceled, is this the end of the chaos? Is the KO situation done? I haven't heard anything announced for anything else. I haven't seen anything past that Thomas. And so this thing here is like the newest thing going and no new announcements, no new pre-orders that I have seen. So I'm curious what's even going on. And is this like a venture to find out that maybe it wasn't worth their time, money and effort to knock off fans toys? Is it not financially viable to try to sell fans toys ish product at half of the fans toys price? There's a lot of questions that go into this and a lot of things to think about, but for the future of KO, it looks like I had big, big plans of being able to get pretty much half the fans toys for half the price. And it looks like that ain't happening. This is a different kind of video. I, I just like to talk about stuff like this. And I felt like this was a topic that needed to be discussed because I've been seeing this in the comments and I started wondering where's my pre-order for my lupus. But this guy here, is he uh, a great figure? I haven't transformed him, I probably never will. Uh, I think he will be a rare run. I think there's only 500 made uh, and they're still not sold out. It's only 500 made, which is crazy. But uh, I think this looks the part, but it's a little bit looser and floppier than the fans toys. The paint isn't quite as smooth as the fans toys, but with that, I'm glad the KOs exist. I don't mind them getting knocked off, Fansways getting knocked off, because you know, Fansways is gonna get theirs on their first run no matter what. And so with that, what do you think? Do you think it's over? Is the KOing of Fans Toys over because of the alleged cancellation of this guy? Or is it just, we need more time and more will come? Let me know in the comments below, like and subscribe, and Tiger Hanger out.